Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to show you how to replace the steering rack ball joint on this Opel Corsa C from 2003. When this ball joint goes bad, it will mess up with your alignment on the front wheels. When you turn the car and you have some speed, you might hear some noises from the steering rack. So the first step is of course inspect the steering rack and check if this ball joint is sturdy and firm on the knuckle. Then make sure that you buy the right part make sure that it is the same length that's very important to be the same length all right so the first step is to lift the front of the car and place it on jack stands then with a 17 millimeter socket undo the bolts from the wheel then remove the wheel and down here from the steering rack you've got the joint this one in particular looks good it's not moving around but I believe it's not gonna last for a long time. So it's always a good idea to change the parts in pairs. Right, so now the most difficult part is to remove the joint from the steering rack. You've got down here, as you can see, a counter nut, which will hold the joint on the steering rack on these threads. So before undoing this nut, we need to remember exactly the position of it. So I'm gonna take a wire brush and clean up very well this area so I can see the threads much better. I'm gonna put some lubricant as well. This is the homemade penetrating fluid I made. I'm gonna place a link down here of an older video I made on how to make easy, cheap penetrating fluid. All right, so now you can watch the threads and I'm going to count how many threads are until the nut. I'm gonna use a blade. We've got nine threads until the nut. Yeah, so from this position, I'm going to remember the area where I measure it. Because if you measure from the other side with the blade, you might get 10 threads or maybe 8 threads. Now, with a 19 millimeter wrench, try to undo the nut. Alright, here we go. Basically, this joint is free. I just have to remove it from down here. So I want to show you a little quick, in case that this nut is not coming out, it's very stuck. Then you can use your jack, as you can see, you place the wrench on the nut and lift it in the direction you want to open it. It's a very effective technique, you just have to keep the connection here very well. You just slowly, slowly lift the jack and it will open the nut easily. Now, the only thing that keeps the joint on is this 17 millimeter nut down here. Use a breaker bar or an impact gun if you have. All right, so once it's loose, a good idea, of course, is to clean up the threads before you remove the nut. Now with a hammer, you just need to kick it out from the knuckle. It can be easily removed. Here it comes. Now just simply install the new one. Now it will matter the count you did before of the threads. So we've got eight threads and it was nine. So I know now that I don't need to install this joint all the way like that because in this position the joint is close to the nut. So I'm going to let it loose just like half of the thread basically. Therefore when I tie this nut it's going to be 9 threads like before and also the joint will fit on the knuckle. Once the bolt is flexible and it can be moved I'm going to direct it on the hole. I will place the nut and tight it in. I will count one more time the threads and with a 12 millimeter socket I'm gonna keep the steering rack from this point where it's made it for the ratchet to fit. There we go, like that. I'm going to triple check the threads. Nine, perfect. And now you can just simply tight the nut. Should be around 20 foot pounds, so give it a very nice tight in there. So that's pretty much it. From this point, of course, you can go to an alignment shop. They have special equipment which will perfectly align the wheels. This can be actually pretty accurate if you find exactly the same product, exactly the same part as the old one with the same length. So yeah, from this point, just install back the wheel, go for a drive, see how it drives. So thanks guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I will try to answer to all of them. And until next time, take care so I can see you soon.